5 Ways to Navigate Adulthood As kids, growing up always seemed like an exciting thing to look forward to. Growing up always seemed fun and glamorous on TV. You can drive a car and go on road trips and move out and having slumber parties without worrying about parents spying on you. The best part in our heads was the freedom. But now that you're here, all grown up, maybe you feel more overwhelmed, uncertain, and nervous. We want you to know that you're not alone. Here are five ways to navigate adulthood. One, never be too busy for family and friends. Sometimes you might feel too tired to go out after a long day at work, but the years will go by in a blink of an eye and you'll wish you had them back to make more memories. We're not asking you to party all night long until the sun comes up or hit the bar every weekend. We understand that you still have bills to pay, but the older we get, the more friendships tend to fade over time. And it all starts when we get too busy to see the people we love. Two, know that your job, social class, and relationship status doesn't define your self-worth. It's easy to tie ourselves to passions, like the people we date or the jobs we work. But sometimes life throws curveballs our way and we go through painful breakups or get laid off. Instead of letting these things define us, realize that they're only what you're participating in, not necessarily who you are. Whatever you've been through, your experiences, good or bad, were simply stepping stones that shaped you into the awesome person you are today. Three, make time for exercise. You might feel relieved knowing you no longer have to go to gym class after graduating high school. But exercise plays such an important role in your health. If you work a nine to five job sitting in front of a computer screen, it significantly reduces your chances of getting your heart rate up. Many people who start developing heart problems often regret that they didn't include exercise in their regimen. If you're worried about affording the cost of a gym membership, know that there are other great ways to stay in shape. Go for walks and runs, bike ride, and dance in your room like no one's watching. Four. Ask questions and self-reflect often. It's okay to cry when you no longer recognize who you used to be. Maybe you've turned into someone you never thought you would, or you've done some things along the way that you're not proud of. This is all part of the journey. What's important is to stop every once in a while and ask questions. It's only when people no longer wonder about their lives that they remain the same. Make time each night to self-reflect and leave room for yourself to make mistakes, grow, and accept your flaws. Five, don't feel discouraged if things aren't always what you imagine them to be. Idealism makes the best dreamers. But if you're too caught up in how things should be rather than how they really are, you begin to stop living in the present. This only feeds anxiety when we demand a lot from the future. No one can predict what will happen, whether it be a few months or just a few seconds from now. Be patient, continue to work hard towards your goals, and have faith that you are enough to take yourself to where you want to be. Are you entering adulthood? What are you most concerned about? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people and provide our support. Thanks for watching.